Today, we are heading to Malaysia's food capital, Penang. This is food what paradise. On a $30 business class train. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We've taken trains in Vietnam, South Korea, Thailand, and India. Wow, this is crazy! <laughs> but now we'll be giving you a full tour showing you what train travel is really like <laughs> and what business class gets you for just $30 in Malaysia. So spacious. Enjoying the scenic route before eating our way through Georgetown. My senses are on fire. This is insane. It's a oh, secret recipe. Secret. Let's go. So because we have business class tickets, we get access to the Ruby Lounge here at the KL Central Station. And we get some complimentary tea and coffee. And the best part about being in the Malaysian Lounge is we get Teta Rick, Milo and white coffee. Who are we right now? In the lounge. I know. This We're is in the so lounge, cool. girl. This is my first time being in any kind of lounge. Any kind of lounge. <laughs> Who am I? Look at this fancy girl. So because we're flying, wow, flying. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot. We get a nice comfy lounge to sit in before our train arrives. I mean, we're just starting the day in pure luxury. So I think the best part about being in the lounge is obviously you get these fancy seats where everyone else has to sit kind of in a waiting area before the train leaves. From here, we can see the trains going by and we can see the whole station. Mm, these this is so good, by Giant the way. glass windows. This is so good. I got my nice comfy seat. I've got the Wi-Fi. And I've got my morning coffee. Who are we? We've never taken any kind of business class ever. So this is our first business class experience and we want to kind of test it out and see <laughs> if this is the way of the future for Jeff and Dave. I don't think so. It's a <laughs> once-off. <laughs> no one else is freaking out except us. And we're like, ooh, business class. Ooh. S3973 from Badward and Thoughtform number one. Thank you. Okay, the train has arrived and when we were at the Ruby Lounge, they actually call us to let us know that the train is here so we're not late. We even have a sign that tells us where to go. This is so organized. I'm like so impressed already. And of course, the train is on time. Actually, it's even a little bit early. Let's go to Penang to eat some food and some noodles. So this is what the front of the train looks like. It looks like it's super, super speedy. Our ticket says A7B. And this is A. We're right in the front of the train. This is so awesome. Let's go. 7B. This is A. This is so spacious. So as we've got on, we can see there's two seats on the one side and then one on the other. So because Chev and I are a couple, we got put together, which is amazing. And there are some plug points as well. I think we're getting ready to go. So this is where we're starting today and we're going to make our way all the way up here to Butterworth. Doors and Please stand clear. This is really nice. Ooh! Whoa! Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! You can see we don't travel business class very often. Also, every boyfriend on the planet, as soon as they sit down, they start touching everything. Oh, wow. I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi. Just like that. Oh, the train's leaving. Yes, we're leaving. It is exactly on time, 11.08. We have access to anything and the screen is touchscreen. So we can go on YouTube, we can watch movies if we like. Here's our Malaysia videos. I'm not going to watch my own videos, but it's just really cool that you can do this. Got his ticket ready. Prepared. I'm ready. Hi, Hi man. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So what does it say? 11.08? Yeah, and we left at exactly 11.08. Wow. Yes, Malaysia. My legs are too short for the leg rest. I can't reach. I'm only good to be toes. I always love taking the train. Compared to flying? Because we get the scenic route to everywhere we go. You just get to see the countryside the whole way along. But this is so much fun. And the train is just so comfortable. It's not bumpy. And it just takes you straight there. And it's a brown. The duration is about four, four and a half hours. And we paid $30 for this train. I think that is serious value for money. We've got trains. We get as a well. train. 
with a little cup holder. You got a tray on this side, and then you got your screen on that side. And it moves like forward. This is nifty. Yeah, and it's just sitting in the armrest. Yeah. So I see that they're coming with a cart, and I think they're going to bring us some food or something. So we have to get our trays ready. And we've only been out for 15 minutes, and wow. they're already coming with some snacks or some food. I don't even know what we're going to get. It's like a surprise. <laughs> He's already ready. I'm having the best time. <laughs> Yeah, perfect, thank you. Oh, and snacks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We just got our lunch. We got a business class snack box, a chicken curry lunch set with some veggies, some rice, and we even got a bottle of water. Let me show you what's in my little snack box. How do I open this? Three hours later while I figure out how to open the box. Ooh, we got a mini juice box. So cute. Salted peanuts and a Kit Kat. I'm enjoying every second, especially the mini juice. Right on the screen, you can also order food. We have some drinks, some snacks as well. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. We can watch movies, we can watch YouTube, we can look out the train, have a nap. I think I might have a nap soon. I feel it coming. Dev's already out. And since we've been traveling non-stop for over three years now, we have something that we like to call travels insomnia. We really prioritize our sleep and often find ourselves awake at 3 a.m. and then passed out like Dev at 12 p.m. We wanted to thank Manta Sleep for sponsoring this video and reminding us how vital a proper sleep or a nap is. With our comfy sleep masks, we are able to sleep anywhere at any time. We get 100% blackout sleep, adjustable straps for a personalized fit, and zero pressure for the long lash ladies. We've been using our Manta sleep masks for over two months now, and we've noticed a drastic improvement in sleep. The C-shaped eye cups are super snug and breathable. Plus, we can sleep on our sides too. We've tried our masks in the train, plane, and use them every single night. They have a wide variety of masks on their website that even come with Bluetooth. Plus, we're giving you 10% off if you use our code SHAPEDEV for your next purchase. So sleep better, take a nap like Dev, and don't forget to check out Manta sleep in our description box below. We have taken trains in Thailand, in India, Vietnam, Korea and now Malaysia. So far the experience has been really really impressive. The train was perfectly on time. It is and it's going not as fast as the train did in Korea but I really like this leisurely pace I don't think we've ever gotten a full meal on a train before as you can tell we've never ever been on anything business class related so we're kind of like kids in a candy store I guess we're just appreciating that we get to go on a business class train and experience this kind of atmosphere so I've just bought out my speed app that I got when we took the bullet train in South Korea and it says that we're going almost 100 kilometers an hour which is really quick because this is not meant to be a high-speed train so I think we're gonna get there really quickly he loves the speed app you gotta love your speed app since we've been on the train for a little while and we just had our lunch I think it was the perfect time to give you a quick tour of our little business class seat as you sit down the chair is super comfortable it's got enough space for you to move around we even have a little neck cushion we have a tray table for when we have our lunch plus we have a TV screen that just folds into your armchair we have a footrest which my toes can barely reach but that's just a height issue that shows how much leg room we have we have two electrical ports one on the window side and one in front of us we can even recline our chair there's also space for your bags above your head behind the seat in front of you and there's a bag rack for us to put our luggage and there's some screens above so we have something to watch and the route of the train just in front of us Check. We have a C. 
sink area, hand wash, mirror, toilet area, bun gun, overall pretty neat. We're about two hours in. What's so interesting to take a train through Malaysia is it's so tropical and the jungle is so thick compared to when we took a train in South Korea. And it was winter and dry and barren. So this is kind of cool to see a different side. The jungle just comes right up to the train. And it's just so interesting how thick it is and humid. Muffin, a chocolate chip muffin, and an afternoon coffee. Luckily, it's before 2 p.m., so I can still have my third cup of coffee. <laughs> if it's 4 p.m., then it's too late. And just like that, we have arrived in Penang. That was the smoothest four hours I've ever had. So we have just arrived at the station called Butterworth, which is right on the ocean, but we're making our way to Georgetown in Penang. So we're gonna either take a ferry or a car. We're gonna have to figure out how to get from the mainland to the find a way to make our way from the mainland to the island. And I'm so excited to be here in Penang. We're going to explore, we're going to eat, we're going to do some amazing things. It's going to be epic. Doors are opening. Mind your step. Woohoo! So we're officially in Penang. This is Butterworth Station and it is hot outside. I mean, I'm wearing a jacket because it was freezing cold, but now I'm regretting it. Ooh, the air is spicy. And this train ride was so seamless. It actually went over 140 kilometers per hour at some stages. And you can see that it's kind of got a bullet train style to it. Now we need to try and find a ferry or something to get us to Georgetown. Better go and figure that out. <laughs> the train station is actually situated right next to the port. So hopefully we can get out the station onto a boat somehow and then we're going to be in Georgetown. By train, thank you for a business class experience. That was awesome. Our first business class. It was so good, so worth it. Wow, there's the ocean, my girl. Wow, there it is. Been a long time oh, since we've seen that. Ocean town. Make sure you actually keep your ticket for when you exit the train because you're still going to need it to get out. Hello, Thanks for doing that. Oh, so it's one ring at 20 to take the ferry. Wow. Which is incredible. Two. Uh, two, please. So what time is the ferry? Four. Oh, four. Okay, four. thank you. Thank you so much. That was so easy. And it comes in 13 minutes from now. Brilliant. And then we're already in Georgetown. What a win. Scan, scan, scan. scan over here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Two ring at 50 for both of us to go. I'm like absolutely blown away in the best way. Let's get on the ferry. <laughs> he loves boats. I like boats. Next one, 4 p.m. Let's run. Ferry to Georgetown. Whoop, whoop. I don't even know what this ferry looks like. <laughs> You're about to find anything. out. <laughs> We're just like arriving and figuring it out. Look at all the boats. Wow. We have made it. We departed at 4.02 and landed at 4.07. So it literally took us five minutes to get to Georgetown. Let's go and find our hotel. Of course, Penang is known for its delicious food. So I think as soon as we check in, we need to go and eat something. We just ordered a grab as we come up. This is in here. Third mode of transport for the day. Let's go. Are you from Penang? Yeah. What can we eat tonight as our first meal in Penang? What do you recommend? Chakoyoto. Mm. It's like a noodle. It's noodles? Yes. Okay, it's delicious? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what? Of course. Sadab. <laughs> yes. Sadab. Sadab. Yeah. Ah, Sadab. Okay. <laughs> we will try and find that. Thank you. Yeah. So are you from Georgetown? Uh, no, I'm from mainland. From the mainland. Yeah. Okay. You can take spicy? Yes. Yeah. Um, we like spicy. We love spicy. <laughs> Do you like spicy? Yes. In Penang, mostly the 
religious food is spicy. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they they like spicy food in Penang. That's good to know. <laughs> So we've checked into our hotel and now we've literally just walked a few minutes down the street. Look what we've already found. Whoa, just look at all the street stores. Street food everywhere. And this is something you don't see as much of in KL and it's why we came to Penang. Hello, Abakaba. Food paradise already. Yeah, we've literally just walked outside. Hello. Oh, wow. Yeah. Abakaba. Uh, what are you making? Pancakes. Pancakes. Oh wow. Pancakes and fruit, there's duck, chicken. Noodles. This is food what paradise. Wow. You just want to have everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like my senses are on fire. Also with us being so close to the ocean, I'm sure the seafood is going to be delicious here. But we are right on one of the main streets and you just walk down here and you're into just like literally a food paradise of so many different types of cuisines and we got some chicken we got fish noodle dishes because everything is made on the street you've just got the woks on the go people are cooking you got all the spices hitting you in the face it's hot from the heat they've got a fire or a barbecue it's kind of an electric feeling even though we're on such a little side alley just to feel all of this energy here's the hockey and me that our oh. grab driver was talking about what is it called? I think it's Cha Kwai Teo. I don't know if my pronunciation is good, but it looks like a flat rice noodle. It's very, very similar looking to a Pad Si Yu that we have in Thailand, which is like egg fried noodles. From what I can tell, it looks amazing. They're preparing it all in a wok, in a giant wok, and then they're placing it on a banana leaf. Out of all of these street stalls, this is the line only for this one and people just keep coming here so I think we have to eat. We have to try one and you can tell that this food is really popular because all the locals are eating here. That's what we learned about being here in Southeast Asia is where the locals go, you go. <coughs> the spice is actually so strong it just goes straight into your nose. There are so many flavors coming off the street my eyes are watering this is insane. She's just put on the fresh chicken satay it looks unreal. I think we should get some. Can we order 10 chicken satay? Ah, thank you. Uh, have here, please. Oh, no problem. Okay, thank you. All the stalls are just a small cart and then there's a tiny generator that's kind of managing all of this. Also, they all have wheels, so you can just wheel it away when you're done. Pretty much an entire business just powered by one little generator. Thank you. Look what I got. So it's just like a snack while we wait in the line. I know, right? And it's got the sauce, it's got a little cucumber and onion on the side. I'm so happy to be in Penang. It's so different. We're going to really enjoy it here. Can I have one uh, chocolate too? Can I have the chicken egg? Yeah. Yes. Not spicy? Uh, a little bit spicy. One small one, a big one? A uh, small one. Any here? I uh, have here, yes. Thank you so much. You can see he just takes these flat noodles, puts them straight into this wok. So what type of noodles are these? Rice noodles. This is the spicy sauce? Yeah, it's spicy. Spicy. This is a main sauce. Oh, main sauce. The main sauce. Okay, so this is the main sauce and then we add some extra spicy sauce on top. And then this is pork oil. Pork oil. Oh, okay. Wow. Special oil. Special oil. Special. The magic. Magic oil. <laughs> so he said you cannot buy the sauce, only he makes it. Maybe that's why there's a long line. Mm, it's homemade. Homemade sauce. It's a secret uh, recipe. Secret. <laughs> I like it. All the sauces are mixing together. Yes. When he's cooking, he does everything by hand. No measuring. Always wow. on a coal fire. Packs an egg in. There's the eggs. Ooh, two eggs. Wow. Wow, that looks amazing. How long have you been here? Eight years. Eight years. Oh, I've here So this shop is 40 years old, but he's been here for eight years. Okay, so you moved to here. That's why so many people are coming. Oh. Wow, the line is so long, it yeah. goes down the street every night. Yeah, every night. Every night. Wow. Got some prawns. And the banana leaf. It is piping hot and the dish is heavy. And that it's was the so small one. Yeah, this is a small one. And we are so 
hot right now because we were just chatting to him and he stands by that walk the entire day making these over and over absolutely amazing let's go try so after we got our food here we've just come across the street and then we're going to sit at this table here and then this lovely lady has come up to us and offered us a drink what, what? yes one passion fruit please oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say this uh, umbra umbra uh, ready uh, this one yeah orange umbra orange uh, orange, yes. <laughs> oh, this is the orange juice. This is the passion fruit. Wow. Thank you. What, what, how can I say passion fruit in Malay? What is the name? Makisa, Makisa. Yeah, Makisa. Makisa. And uh, orange? Orange is... Uh, Jero. Okay, thank you for teaching me. Uh, we're from South Africa. Yes. I think we're going to have so much fun here in Penang. I'm so excited for all the adventures we're going to have and we got a lot of exciting things coming up here. Look how cool these glasses are, just by the way. We ordered a passion fruit juice and an orange juice. They were very kind to teach us the Malay words. Passion fruit is makisa and orange is peru, I think. Peru, peru. right? I, think oh, it's I hope I haven't forgotten already, but let's give the orange a taste. Oh, that is fresh and sweet and give the passion fruit a good mix oh wow mm. i think i'm team passion fruit on this one <laughs> so good oh i'm excited to try this it's been a long day on the train a travel day but this is a perfect welcome to penang he had so much love and care and passion even though he's standing next to that hot coal fire day after day let's eat this I get it. I get why there's a long line. And the spicy sauce that he had just kind of brings it to life. Absolutely delicious. It's the perfect kind of meal in a beach town like this. The noodles are soft. And then obviously you got the sprouts. <laughs> Is it spicy? A little bit spicy. Mm. How's that secret sauce? <laughs> The secret sauce is everything. Now I'm going to try my chicken satay. I have to dunk it in my special sauce. I think this is a peanut sauce. Mm. From the way she was grilling it, I already knew that it was going to be perfect. There's so much like char grilled flavor that I can taste. Absolutely divine. It kind of tastes like it's almost been caramelized in the sauce, but you still get that smoky taste of the chicken. Wow, welcome to Penang. We're in Georgetown. This is amazing. I'm already loving my time here. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've been treated so well after just an afternoon here in Penang. And I'm so excited for the next... I was clearly enjoying my food. We're only here for a few days, so we're going to be jam-packed here in Georgetown. So make sure you subscribe. Please let us know what else we can eat. And we'll see you for the next video in Georgetown. Bye from the market! Woo!